I love about what you've been doing is you are supporting the camp community as a whole. And so through the different campaigns, you have, you've developed an expertise in referral marketing and being able to guide a camp to increase the percentage of, um, you know, registrations based on other people's experiences as well. And you take that wealth of knowledge and you really care about your clients and, you know, give those recommendations and hold their hands if they need it. I mean, that's part of what you guys offer. I mean, that's for me, I, I have a little bit of consulting background um, and I, I love it. I, you know, I, I love strategizing. I love trying something new, things like that. And I, you know, a lot of our, the campaigns we, we are, our customers came up with, well, what if we do this idea, you know, and I'm happy depending on time to share some of these very creative. And, and then I can share with that with other camps and be like, well, this might be something you consider, you know, that's wonderful. And of course, if a camp feels that their strategy is confidential, that's something that you honor as well. Oh, um, sure. You know, yeah. and I just yeah. say that because, you know, oh, yes. No, I, and I don't say which camp and they do that it's competition in any way, but it's a right. gentle. So I mean, we, I can give you an example of like, um, you know, someone came up with the idea instead of just engaging your staff for your staff or your families for your campers, staff can recruit. You know, why not reward your staff when they recruit campers as well? They're out there, maybe on playgrounds as a nanny or something like that. So that's a generic thing of just mm -hmm. considering another opportunity that you could create a custom campaign for staff to recruit campers right. and reward them differently. Absolutely. And also look at your whole alumni network in that regard too. You know, right. so I think that that's really interesting. Tell me how did the staffing referral idea come about? Uh, well, I mean, I think that was post COVID, right? I think we were at Tri-State and someone's like, well, can we use it for staff? And we thought, oh, absolutely. You can use it for staff. So that, that had great success. Um, we had a camp last year. They actually even put it out a general public on their website that said, you know, they, I think they needed cooks and maintenance and, and everyone. And they said, you refer someone. And if we hire them and they show up, we'll give you $250. Right. It wasn't so specific. So um, that that's been very successful and creative about doing the, the staff. And that's an easy one because you can say, you know what, everybody gets an Amazon gift card at the end of the season or something mm -hmm. like that. Right. Or or maybe it's you get the, the best you know parking spot or we're going to give you, um, you know, this access to this photo app or something like that. Right. So. Well, I love the incentives. I, I'd love to talk a little bit more about the creative parts of your campaigns and those incentives. So tell me more. Uh, yeah, well, and and actually you would, this is, you know, right up your alley of your, you work with a lot of different vendors who have great things. And we like to share with um, the camps, like if you don't want to do money, you know, swag, right? So, and and again, the reward doesn't have to be the ambassador and the prospect getting the same thing. So right. you can do a, a gift for one and money for the other and things like that. So those are, you know, those are some opportunities for that. Take a moment to shine.